Solo Arborist Day. Big Linden. With some house clearance objectives. Probably 10 feet. Three, four, five cuts. Maybe chase a hanger or two for grandma. Classic house. Classic house. Yeah, not gonna be too bad. Got more in the back. So, what do you need to be a qualified tree cutter? Dark cube. Rope. Specifically, 420 feet every time. Hard hat comes. Yeah. This is Cardo. I like Cardo. Chain sword. Yes. 2511. The pistol. Don't forget. Harness. With brand new. Brand new. Brand new suspenders. Brand new. Got a little camel back in there. Very cool. First time today. Upgraded from the old Husky Sandusky. Got these at Home Depot, 20 bucks. Lasted a couple years, I was okay with them. These can get shipped anywhere in the United States for $69, if anybody's interested. But most importantly, don't forget your pruning spikes. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do it today, boys. Today, I got this new recoil there. They've got suspender attachment points. It's cool, it's got like a camelback in here. A little whistle here. For if your mouth's too dry to do the old, the old yell, you know. Got SRT chest tender, new to me. Been using my lanyard a couple years, so let's uh, get to it. We gonna do a one shot Susie today? Oh no. Oh no. New throw line, gonna get tangled. Oh. Yeah. You're not wearing your hard hat. Oh, almost. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you did it. Look where you're gonna go now. You're stuck on the roof, you. Idiot. Are we gonna get him? Yeah, go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go. Baby, go, baby, go, baby, go. Baby, go. Roll, roll, roll. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, boy. We're gonna do the old double throw bag on this one. Unfortunately, I don't have the GoPro yet, so I won't be able to get it probably. But we're gonna do it. We did it. We did it. Up, 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 up. You're gonna climb all the way up there with a rope. Disclaimer, not me. So this is a new, to me, I know, I know, I bought used a rope. Not a good idea. But I think it's ecstatic. Excited to try it. Got the throw all coming down now with, what's this? Oh my God, who did that? Who did that? Who tied it like that? It was me. I did it. And it worked. Sometimes that works. I've got a big old boy up there. Probably can't see it. But you know, no tight crotch. Send it! Alright, real talk. Real talk. Uh, you can see my tie-in, I think, on here. Yeah? Can you see that? It's a little bit out, which I don't like. Always. But I think it's pretty girthy. Shouldn't be okay. You can see here. What's going on? We got some linden attack that we're gonna try to mitigate. Kind of a dirty one. I got a 200 foot rope, plenty left in the bag. So I don't know, probably 60 feet, I would say. Yeah. When it comes to job site safety, it's important to make sure you have correct nutrition. You gotta be eating good. So I'll show you what I just found. They say no tree jobs complete without Perfectly cooked marshmallows. Golden brown. <laughs> oh, look, I also have to go marshmallows. Perfect. All right, a couple more job site uh, set up 
things. Here we go. Got right here, rope wrench, Schwabish. How much time I saw on before I go up? Because it kind of keeps your rope tended while you're going up for the first few feet, you know? And then you just pull it up when you're up there. Today's, today's solo arborist day. So I got my aerial rescue device here. Got grandma coming to save me if something goes wrong. Over here, I got my, my Yosemite bone. Yes, yes. Now, uh, if you're working with people that know what they're doing, know how to climb and everything, you put an alpine butterfly right here. I mean, they can clip into it and save your ass if you get into the shit. All right, so say you're me. You're this high off the ground. 10 feet to your foot. And you realize you forgot to fill your saw. I'll show you how much is left. <laughs> That's just a sip of gas. Are you going down or are you going up? Doing a lot of hands on, I think I am today, because I am not going down. That's how stubborn I am. Yeah. Look at my groundy down there. Absolutely killing it. Thank you, Grandma. Good job. You're hired. I said you're hired. Good job. Yep, made some cuts over there. A couple on this. Got plenty of room. That's next. And then that's it. Deposited some brush here for safekeeping. Probably do that. Grandma left me a broom down there. Sweep off all the leaves and all the stupid stuff. So these lindens, they drop these little seeds and they're hard 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 it's like walking on marbles on the roof which is good but that's why always maintain good work positioning yes hey wait a minute you're not in the tree you're on my roof another disclaimer not me not me not me not me not me not me it wasn't me gotta clean those out too for grandma make her happy gotta make grandma happy now we have a better view of what's going on here. Probably just do a couple little things. This guy, this guy, you know, nothing crazy. We like minimal around here. There's the one going towards the window. Can't see it, but I'm cheating. I'm on the roof. Cheater, roof cheater. And here we've got part two of this job. Would you look at that tie-in? Way, way over there. But I'm happy to have it, because this roof is kind of steep. I've been slipping, sliding, cleaning off all these leaves and shit. Look, there's the old ugly wagon. I haven't really came up with a name for that yet. Maybe the rig. But this is also part of this task. Probably just gonna take this little guy here, and that's it, and flush that stub. Grandma likes things minimal, which is good. I like things minimal too. I already made one cut over here, stubbed it off there. I think it should have enough to be not in the way. When the leaves and walnuts come out, I'll finish that stub. And that's gonna do it. Cool tree, cool backyard. Nice day. Love it.